Hey everybody, this is Al with El Rey Collection, and today I'm going to do an unboxing of some tickets that I got from, um, got back from PSA that I shipped in in, um, last, um, gosh, I think it's January. So, um, you know, hopefully you, you can bear with me here as I get through the, uh, rock solid protection that PSA packs this stuff. These tickets, from what I recall, since it's such a long time ago, uh, included some uh, Olympic tickets, uh, some World Cup tickets. Um, that may be it. Uh, I don't think there's a ton of them in here, but um, there should be some fun ones. And, you know, I just noticed the other day that Rally auctioned off um, some some tickets that uh, I think are in this submission. Um, again, tickets aren't typically, you know, my, my focus, but, you know, I do understand the importance of, of you know, tickets in the artifact for, for you know, really special um, uh, events. And so, so I have a few of them. Uh, I'm just more probably selective in my ticket collecting as opposed to, you know, some areas of um, some other areas. And gosh, it's like Fort Knox trying to get into these uh, these boxes. So definitely apologize for that. Um, I would say you know my my most of the tickets actually that I have tend to be um, Olympic tickets or uh, baseball tickets uh, actually. So um, and and they tend to center around events that I had been to that were important you know to me. Or that I thought were just important to global or uh, uh, Olympic history, for instance. So, um, and and you know, and from a soccer perspective, almost all my tickets are uh, relate to World Cups, as opposed to you know player debuts, which, by the way, I think is amazing, and it's one of the things I've been thinking about. You know, getting more into getting some player debut debut tickets. Um, it's just fun and I've seen some some pairings that some collectors have and and it's just amazing to see a rookie card along with a ticket from from, from their first games so um, I will pull out all of this and we'll work ourselves through it so thank you PSA um, again they were sent in in January um, so that's kind of the regular service from from what I recall. Um, all right, so let's let's get to it. And I already feel like one slightly bigger than the other. So let's the others. So let's go look at this man. I'm having issues um, already. So this is a relatively big slab. Here I had this my camera all set up so we could look at it. Um, let me see if I can center this a bit bit better because it's actually not not great um to see this but but what you what you you know hopefully you're seeing here this is the final of the uh, 1986 uh world cup um so this is where maradona wins obviously this isn't the hand of god game against uh here that's a little bit better you can see that straight up and i'll put it down here so you can um, enjoy this. So this is at the Estadio Azteca, the 29th. It's the final, and this is where Maradona wins. Um, so this is this got a grade uh, VG3, and I actually thought that it, it would probably do about this. There was a, a little bit of a staple mark down here. Um, so I think a 3 is probably about right, because the rest of the ticket just looks vibrant, has its normal color. There's no writing on this, which a lot of time... A lot of times you can find writing on some of these um, these these stubs where the the guy who went to the game or the woman who went to the game wrote the score, you know, who played and 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 what the score was. So, um, so that's 1986 World Cup final. In general, I have a number of World Cup finals, and that'll probably be something. You're not talking about very many tickets. To, to, to have a run of World Cup finals. So I'll, I'll probably, that'll probably end up doing like a, a subset of, um, 
of of things that that uh, that I'll end up doing. So then here's there's another uh, six seven tickets. So so let's take a look. Um, the next one is the um, 1936 Jesse Owens, and he uh, in this particular one he wins his second gold medal in the long jump, and this is a, a, a PSA six which is relatively high grade. I think most of these grade at three or below with lots of authentics. Um, this is a really, really nice ticket. Um, you know, stub, this is a stub with the stadium behind. Um, I think these, these um, Jesse Owens tickets are exceptional um, just because of the historic importance of his performance in 1936 in, in Berlin. And again, I think rallies auctioning off or selling partial shares in a set that includes a PSA 9 and an authentic and some mid-grade ones like a 3 and a 5 for like 25000 Uh Not sure if it sold out. This particular one was a 6 and this next one which is um, the 4 by 100 meters. This is his fourth gold medal. Um, this one they grade a 3. So a three and a six. What what I really don't like about you know PSA is the inconsistency. You can see the ticket is the same same you know side everything, and yet they decide to slab it in completely different directions. And so when you're going for a set, it seems you know it's a little bit frustrating to see that. And this particular set that that you know I sent in. The, it's the exact same seat for all um, Olympic, you know, uh, uh, events. And these were sold in a book it, booklet. You could have gotten a season pass. And so this is the same person's tickets that went, you know, sat in this seat every single game. And in the same way, I would like the consistency of the slabbing to be on the same side. But um, whoever slabbed didn't seem to care much about that. Um so those are, you know, that's the gold medal two and um, and four. Let's just, you know, finish off with this set since it's already preluded that uh, these were coming. You can see here's the other one, and this is his first gold medal, which is the 100 meters. And this got an EX5. So you've got a five, a six, a three, and what we're missing is his um, third gold medal. Again, same seats. Really cool. And this is a seven. So as a set, same set, uh, you know, same seat set, I would tend to believe this may be among the highest graded same set for his four gold medals. Um, not 100% sure of that, but just looking at the pop reports, it's going to be a tough going to be tough to to beat this in a consistent way um and these are so you've got i've got a seven a five a three and an upside down um six so you know um anyway uh these are you know really i think just starting to get the love that they deserve in terms of you know, we've had a lot of talk about goats. We've had a lot of talk about, you know, the best moments of all time over the last year. And how can you not include from a cultural, historical, uh, political, and world history perspective, Jesse Owens' per, uh, performance in the 1960, uh, 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin. Four gold medals as an African-American. And, and completely unappreciated at home as well but uh, even more so uh, by the Germans. So let's uh, then go, uh, or the Nazis, I should say, because I don't want to say that all Germans felt that way. Uh, certainly the Nazis did. Um, so here's here's the next one. This is um, the World Cup. Um, and this is this is um, the the um, the game where Pele made his debut. Um, so you know, this is kind of exciting. I think that, um, you know, I said I wasn't totally into debut tickets. This is also Garincha's World Cup debut. I mean, so what a amazing 
um, you know, ticket in terms of its importance. This one gets a two because of this, uh, the this little uh, pinhole slash staple. Oops, sorry, over here in the corner. But other than that, incredibly clean uh, ticket. And you know, if they would straighten out and you know look, um, you know, a little bit cleaner like th this one does now, you know, really truly amazing. So this is um, again Pele debut debut um this is the next one is also from the 1958 world cup and this is in the uh, semi-finals and this is where pele scores his hat trick um uh, against france so he scores his goals two three and four uh again great great ticket great history great lineage um, with this, with these World Cup tickets, I don't have the same seats for all the games. Um, you know, these are just, you know, random stubs, you know, and, and this one is the final where, where um, Brazil beats Sweden and, um, and Pele, you know, scores his fifth and sixth um, goal in the final. Um, and he was the youngest teenager to score, I mean, he was he was the only teenager to score in a World Cup until Mbappe um, did that in 2018. So following in his footsteps, and this is a, a poor one, which um, I'm a little surprised at. I kind of expected this to get, you know, potentially a three. Uh, we do have some, you know, some some folds in the back, but you know, for a one, it really presents incredibly well. Um, and I, you know, it has these pinholes, I guess, over here. So maybe a two. Um, but, you know, I, I, from a visual perspective, it's a great looking one. So, you know, not a huge submission. I, again, I've got, you know, maybe close to a thousand cards coming back from PSA that I will, uh, you know, try to open online here over the next few months. Hopefully they come back. Uh, but this was a ticket order. And, um, Again, not something you see typically from me, but there there are some epic sporting moments in here and I uh, wanted to share them with you all. So, you know, I certainly hope that uh, you enjoyed this. If you did, can you smash that like button for me and subscribe? Um, you know, really trying to put some content out there that, that people like and enjoy and, and find useful. Um, you know, give me a like, follow me, and we'll see you next time. This is Al at uh, El Ray Collection, and trying to trying to always display some epic cardboard for you guys. See ya.